Oh, hey there, folks. <laughs> this is Johnny Hyland here in Nashville. Yes, I'm a Nashville guitarist and shrapnel recording artist, and you've caught me at the Highland Bandwagon, who we actually call Vanna White. But I'm actually here today to uh, set the record straight, folks. Yes, I endorse Ernie Ball Music Man guitars, and I'm very proud to be. But there's a bit of confusion out there as to uh, what Telecasters that I actually own and, and what I endorse. Well, the fact is, Ernie Ball Music Man guitars are the only guitars that I actually do endorse. But I do have a lot of friends in the business who have gifted me with some wonderful guitars. And uh, right now I'd like to share those Telecasters with you, if I may. So let me reach in Vanna White here and grab one. Oh yeah, this first beautiful Tele that I'm holding here, folks, is made by a good buddy of mine from Blues Man Vintage Guitars. His name's John Scott, and he's been a good friend of mine, actually through David Allen. And right now, folks, the reason I'm showing these Telecasters is there's been some confusion about me actually endorsing and even owning a Kelton Suede guitar, and I do not. And uh, so actually, I'm showing you right now the Telecasters that I do own and the ones that I recommend. And again, this first one is made by my buddy John Scott from Blues Man Vintage. And uh, this guitar was made for me. It's a really cool 50-style Telecaster. And actually... He, uh, it's double bound with black binding, which makes it very unique because not many of them were made that way, if any, that I know of. So this guitar is really cool. It's got a vintage feel to it. It's actually relic pretty good. It's got some cool checking. But what's so great about this guitar is it was the first Telecaster that we put the first prototype set of my new Johnny Highland Signature David Allen Telecaster pickups. And that's, of course, why I'm showing this video today not only to set the record straight about what Telecasters I own, but to also showcase that we have some new Tele pickups coming out, which I'm really excited about. But this guitar, again, folks, has a real vintage feel to it. John makes a fantastic guitar. I've been winding this guitar up a lot in the sessions lately, having a lot of fun, and uh, really proud of this guitar. John gifted me this guitar almost six months ago, and I've just been playing it to pieces. I'll tell you, it's a wonderful guitar, and I really, really do love it. So, uh, and I would definitely, definitely recommend that if you want a good vintage, relic feeling Telecaster, John Scott's Blues Man Vintage are the way to go. All right, folks, this second Telecaster I'm showing you right now was actually a gift from a dear friend of mine named Susie Mackey. And uh, Susie actually gifted me with this guitar just a few months back to uh, also debut my David Allen pickups for Telecaster and this guitar is called a Twangcaster and it's made by my really good friend now Mr. Lloyd Prince down in Tulsa Oklahoma now this guitar actually as you can see he really went uh, above and beyond for me by doing a really beautiful beautiful flame neck here the guitar is actually made out of pine so it's very much lightweight and uh, unlike the John Scott, the John Scott was made out of swamp ash, and this is pine, so it's a lot different in tone. And, of course, when you're trying out pickups, you want to try as many different body types as you can, you know, because with any kind of different wood, it changes the tone. And I wanted to make sure that my David Allen Tele pickups rocked in every guitar. And, of course, they do in this as well. Now, Lloyd Prince, in building the Twangcasters, it's a really awesome guitar in that he actually custom builds these right from scratch, and uh, everything about Lloyd's guitars that make him so cool is he, he has his own patented bridge system, which is actually very uh, traditional in its styling, but it actually goes right through like a strap bridge to the back side. As you can see, it has its own separate plate or its own separate wood mounting area here in the back. And, uh, but Lloyd, just like I said, he builds some really cool custom guitars and this one he actually put a pie sign here if you if you notice and uh actually myself and the steve seckler who plays for uh, john conley uh and the great kenny vaughn actually own one with this pie sign so we have started actually i must show you this too i don't know steve if you can get in here on this shot buddy but if you plug this in when you plug this guitar in this pie sign actually lights up bright blue now, I don't know if you can catch that in this light because we're outside, but it's really a cool feature and a lot of fun. And, of course, I get asked about it a lot. So here in Nashville, if you come visit, 
I am a part of the Flaming Blue Pie Hole Mafia here in Nashville. So a lot of fun and uh, something really cool. Again, Lloyd's guitars are custom built. And if you notice, there are no screws mounted around the pit guard or down here where, where, the, uh, you know, where the tone control plate is. Um, and actually, he does a lot of uh, stuff that are, is magnetized. And that's exactly what this pit guard is, is magnetized. And of course, what, one thing that was just beautiful when he designed this guitar for me was he put my name in the fretboard, and he did it so beautifully. And uh, just so proud of that. And of course, he also asked me what record I learned to play by. And I learned on Ricky Skaggs' Highways and Heartaches album, which he made me a pit guard from, and I'll show that. And here, folks, is a pit guard that he actually made from the original record, which is so cool, and I'm so proud of this. As a matter of fact, folks, on the back side of this guitar, you can see where, where the routing was for the actual, you know, for the pie hole sign. What's so cool about this is I, I asked Lloyd, and he said, yes, I used part of the record for this little area as well. And I said, so if you drop the needle to a record player on there, does it play Highway 40 Blues? <laughs> Neat little feature and really cool. But, you know, this is such a such a wonderful guitar and folks if you want something really unique and cool and customized for your liking Lloyd Prince is also another great Telecaster builder to, to uh, contact and get yourself a Twangcaster and uh, when you call him tell him Johnny Highland sent you he's a really great guy and uh, check one out today now Now that brings me to the third Telecaster that I own. And of course, all these Telecasters are not made by Fender. I do have some beautiful Fender Tellies as well. But these, I just wanted to showcase the guitars that are not made by Fender. Just so that you folks know that I have been gifted some beautiful guitars by independent builders that I don't necessarily endorse their guitars. I'm just really good friends with them. And they've gifted me some beautiful pieces, like this one right here. This beautiful Paisley Telecaster was built by my dear friend of about 15 years, Mr. Forrest Lee Jr. And Forrest not only builds a beautiful Paisley guitar, but he is a wonderful builder of B-benders. And this guitar is stocked with a Forrest Lee Jr. B-bender. And yes, a guitar of this nature is important when you're a studio musician like myself. B-benders are a great tool in country music. Of course, uh, the great Jimmy Olander, Marty Stewart, and of course my hero, Ricky Skaggs, all played B-benders. And uh, so I'm really proud to own one of Forrest because they're a wonderful playing guitar and the bender works flawlessly. It's just fantastic. But what a beautiful, beautiful Paisley guitar this is. It's just exquisite. And uh, I'm just so proud to own this guitar. Forrest gifted me this back when, when I actually was at a NAMM show and he asked me to go check out Bolt Amps. He gifted me this guitar, and of course I endorsed Bolt Amps for a long time before moving on to CEC amplifiers now. But uh, this guitar, I'm so proud of it, and I'm so proud to own it because Forrest and I have been such great friends. But he builds these guitars in, right around Hurricane Mills, where he's from, where he lives, with his wife and children. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a great playing B-Bender guitar, Forrest Lee Jr. is the guy to contact. And again, these are called Forest Guitars, and they are magnificent. So if you're interested in a B-Bender, call Forest, and again, tell him Johnny sent you. Well, all right, folks, there you go. I've given you a, a rundown of what Telecasters outside of Fender that I actually own, and I'm very proud to own. And you know what? They mean some, so much to me, folks, because I'm friends with all these gentlemen. Mr. John Scott from Bluesman Guitars, uh, you know, Lloyd Prince, who builds the Twancaster, and also Forrest Lee Jr., who builds the awesome Forrest B-Bender Telly. I love these guitars so much. They're a great part of my collection. But again, folks, my favorite guitar is the Ernie Ball Music Man. I've been just winding those things for the last, probably going on three years now. And uh, it's mostly the only guitar I ever play live. But you know, when you get in the studio and you have a producer that wants a certain tone, you can't help but have a Telecaster in the studio. And that is, an, you know, an absolute given. 
So I'm really proud to own these guitars. Listen, folks, I do not own or endorse Kelton Suede guitars, and I'm just here to set the record straight. Now you know what Telecaster is outside of Fender that I own and what I recommend. And, uh, you know, it's such a, such a joy for me to be able to come on YouTube and bring you the truth, folks. And, uh, and I feel that I owe it to all my fans out there to tell them the truth. So, uh, so uh, if you haven't been out and got an all-fired-up album yet from Shrapnel Records, that's my latest album, please go get one. And I want to take this opportunity and thank all my fans out there for being as true to me as you have coming to all the shows this year. I know I, the touring schedule slowed down a bit, but, uh, man, I've been out there hitting it as hard as I can and just having a blast this year. And I certainly look forward to 2013. It's going to be great. And uh, I want to also take this time and thank my buddy Steve Hardesty for doing these videos for me. He's a, a dear friend, great picker himself, and uh, I'm just proud to have him here. And uh, gosh, these, one, these videos are so wonderful, and to have this opportunity to come to you is just so awesome for me. So I just wanted to bring the truth straight to you. I have no hard feelings with Kelton. We've been friends for many years, and he builds a great guitar. But I do not own one, and I just wanted to let you all know. So this is Johnny Highland signing off. Take care, folks. Have a great Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and beyond. And uh, for more information, you can contact me anytime at info at johnnyhighland.net. So thanks so much. Take care, and God bless. All right, folks, now that the video is officially over, I do want to let you know that my buddy Steve is going to put all of the necessary websites that you need in case you're interested in ordering one of these Telecasters from all three of these great builders. I guarantee you, folks, if you buy any guitar from any three of these builders, you will not be disappointed, I promise you. Again, I'm proud to own them. Thanks again. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. God bless and take care.